Emotions run high as state lawmakers take a step toward allowing physician assisted suicide for terminally ill patients. Delegates took to the House floor for a vote this morning. Political reporter Pat Warren explains many had their own end of life stories of family and friends facing death. There are those who started this battle four years ago who are not alive to see the vote today. House Bill 399 receiving a constitutional majority is declared passed. The delegates followed their hearts. Delegate Eric Lutke's mother, terminally ill, tried unsuccessfully to take her own life. And in reflecting on that, despite my personal uh, hatred for suicide, I began to ask myself what right I had as a government official, and even as her son, to dictate to her how her life should end. Delegate Lukey voted for the bill. Delegate Kipke, whose grandmother was given a short time to live, voted against it. What she went through was hell to get out of that deadly terminal disease called cancer, but she survived. And I wonder if that option had been there, might she had taken that option and might have we had lost the additional nine years of her life. The bill allows an adult diagnosed with a terminal illness and six months or less to live is mentally capable and competent of making an independent decision to ask a physician for a prescription and take that medication on a strictly voluntary basis. It was the most painful time of my life. Delegate Sandy Bartlett had potentially terminal breast cancer and a double mastectomy. It should be a very personal option on what you choose, if you have the ability, the mental capacity. And so therefore, I voted in favor today. The bill now goes to the Senate, and if it passes, to the governor. Governor Hogan has not said whether he will sign or veto the bill. I'm Pat Warren reporting for WJZ.